Hey guys, it's Hater Over BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, so today we are going to look at cryptocurrency. So as you probably already know, crypto has become hugely popular over the last uh, couple of years, specifically over the last year, kind of during the pandemic, it has really taken off. So I ran across this uh, crypto tracker uh, in the Home Assistant Community Store, a custom integration that uh, monitors tons of different cryptocurrencies and uh, utilizes a specific API to do that. So I thought it'd be really cool to set up some sensors in Home Assistant uh, so that we could monitor our favorite cryptocurrencies. There we go. So as I was already saying, there's a huge list of cryptocurrencies that is supported by this integration. In fact, I'll have a link in the description below so that you can check out this list right behind me. There are over 300 cryptocurrencies currently able to be monitored by this integration. That is awesome. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So let's basically go over uh, our steps of what we're going to do for this particular video. Um, so. For starters, I want to go over some prerequisites. Um, not really prerequisites, but we're going to call it that anyway. Uh, next step will be to install the Crypto Tracker integration in Home Assistant. It's basically, just going into Hacks and doing the uh, install. After that, we will add the sensors into Home Assistant. Unfortunately, that's still a manual job, so we will have to do it uh, with actual YAML. Uh, but it's not super hard to do. And then lastly, we're going to add those sensors into the Levels front end uh, for Home Assistant and just kind of walk through that real quick. It's a pretty easy setup. And that's pretty much it for this video. So let's get started. All right, so like I said before, these are the prerequisites. The only thing you need to do as far as prerequisites go is to decide which cryptocurrencies you want to create sensors for. Once you know which ones you want to do, then you're going to basically go on that list that I showed you uh, earlier and figure out what the abbreviations are for those particular cryptocurrencies. Uh, we're going to pick Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Ethereum. Uh, those are pretty common uh, cryptocurrencies. Um, somewhat popular right now, so I thought it'd be easy to uh, add those in um, and do the exchange rate for US dollars. So that's kind of the ones that we're looking at for this video. But again, this uh, setup will pretty much work for any of uh, the cryptocurrencies that you're interested in. Uh, again, you'll just want to know what those abbreviations are for uh, the API. Uh, so once you have those, then let's move on to the next step. All right, so now we are ready to go into Hacks, the Home Assistant Community Store, and we're going to add that Crypto Tracker integration. So we'll hit the plus down in the bottom corner. Uh, do start typing in crypto, it should pop right up. Uh, there it is, Crypto Tracker down there at the bottom. So we'll select that one. And it kind of talks about it. You can read about it if you want, but basically we're gonna hit that install in the bottom corner. Hit install again. Um, and of course, that's pretty much it. It does require restarting Home Assistant to pick up the uh, newly installed uh, components. So let's go ahead and do that now. Go to configuration. We'll go to uh, server controls. Normally, I would do a check and fig, but I haven't made any other changes. So we're just going to go ahead and restart Home Assistant. We'll give that a few minutes to come back up. Uh, in the meantime, let's move on to the next step. All right, so once Home Assistant has come back up uh, with the newly installed custom integration, we are ready to add in those sensors um, into our sensors.yaml file. Now, I already have them uh, created. You can see them down there at the bottom, but we'll kind of walk through it anyway. Uh, for the platform, it's going to be crypto state. And then under resources, this is where we're going to add those three sensors. 
Um, so first things first, we're going to do Dogecoin, which uh, for compare, we'll say D-O-G-E, that's uh, the abbreviation for Dogecoin, dash USD. And basically we're doing the exchange rate from Dogecoin to US dollars. There's a few different currency options that you can use um, if you didn't want to use US dollars. For the name, we'll call it Dogecoin. For the next one, uh, we're going to do the Bitcoin. Uh, so for compare, it'll be BTC dash USD. So basically uh, the exchange rate for Bitcoin to US dollars. Uh, for the name, we're going to call it Bitcoin. And then uh, lastly, for the third one, uh, is the Ethereum. Uh, so it'll be compare um, will be ETH ETH dash USD. And that's, again, just doing the exchange rate for Ethereum to US dollars. And for the name, we'll just call it Ethereum. And again, I'll have all this in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it. Uh, but once you have that in there, you would save it. We would jump over to um, the server controls inside of configuration again. Basically, we would check config, make sure everything looks good, and then restart Home Assistant again to pick up the newly installed sensors. Uh, we'll give that a few minutes to come back up, and let's go ahead and move on to the last step. All right, so now that it's back online, uh, we have uh, the sensors created in Home Assistant and we're ready to get them added into Loveless so that we can kind of see what they look like. Now, if you looked at the repo for this uh, integration, they had a really cool look at a graph and they actually have the uh, YAML code for creating that graph. So I thought that's what we would do here. We're basically gonna create three of them. I'm gonna show you how to create one and then I'll show you what all three of them look like in the end. So we'll start with uh, Dogecoin. So the type is gonna be a mini graph card. This is a custom uh, graph card that I have uh, installed from Hacks. So of course, if you don't have that, you'll wanna go do that. Uh, I'm not gonna walk through that here. Under entities, uh, for the sensor, it's just gonna be that newly created Dogecoin sensor. So we'll say sensor.dogecoin. Uh, for the name, I'm gonna call it Dogecoin. And then again, I'm pulling all this YAML code from the example that they had on the GitHub repo. Uh, so the line colors, uh, the line width, you can decide what the width of the line is gonna be. I'm just setting it to two. I'm gonna show the last five hours. And then you can determine how many decimal places you want to show for Dogecoin because it's such a small uh, amount. Uh, on the US dollar exchange, we're gonna give it eight decimals. Um, obviously, if you were doing something like um, Bitcoin or Ethereum, which obviously uh, have a much higher value, you would certainly not need to do eight decimal places. Points per hour, we're gonna set it to 10. Uh, we'll set the animate to true. Uh, the material design icons does not have an icon for Dogecoin, at least not yet, uh, but they do have a dog icon. So we're going to go with MDI colon dog for the icon. And then here's where we're going to set the color thresholds. Um, and again, I pulled all this from the example on their GitHub page. So I'm just kind of copying that and pasting it in here. Once we have all of that in there, then we're going to uh, basically uh, save it. And of course, there it is. Uh, Dogecoin has the current value. And we'll kind of fast forward. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through the install on all those, but all three of them here, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, they're all listed there with their current values. As you can see for the Bitcoin and the Ethereum I only did two decimal places uh, just because they're uh, a much higher value on those. They did have material design icons for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's kind of cool. Those were listed there as well. 
And I'll have all this code in the description below so that you can copy and paste it yourself. But basically that's it. We now have uh, three sensors uh, set up to monitor uh, Dogecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And of course, if we wanted to, we could create automations to send us notifications uh, when they, uh, you know, hit a certain threshold or when they drop below a certain threshold, basically telling us when we should buy and sell maybe. Uh, tons of options that you can do with that. And of course, with any cryptocurrency for that matter, because like I said, this thing monitors tons of different cryptocurrencies. Uh, so lots to choose from. But that's the end of the video, guys. Pretty cool little setup, not hard to install. So definitely worth checking out if you're getting into crypto or if you're uh, curious to what uh, some of the values are for the latest uh, popular cryptocurrencies right now. This is a cool way to do that. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Spring Merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're interested in VPN service, check out IP Vanish. I'll have the link in the description below so that you can go over to their website and check out what deals they currently have running. Just like this video, if you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, check out Robinhood. I'll have the link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.